This is my mother in Baghdad, my mom, granny, and her father. My name is Rachel Wahba, and I am an Egyptian Iraqi Jew. My mother was from Baghdad, Iraq, and my father was from Egypt. My parents had different experiences. I mean, they were both Jews and always knew their place. Jews and Christians were made into second-class citizens um, by law. These laws were humiliating. They were called the laws of, of Omar, and they're known as the Dimi laws. Here's one. Jewish women could not cover their face. In that part of the world, not to cover your face meant you were a prostitute. A Jew cannot ride on a horse. A Jew cannot eat good fruit. A, a Jew had no real rights. I grew up with a mother and a grandmother who were completely traumatized by the Farhud. And the Farhud, I think, means something like, you know, total chaos. So this is what happened in the Farhud. They went for 48 hours and just destroyed the Jewish quarter. They raped women and girls in front of their family. They cut off limbs to get a bracelet. They stole everything out of the houses. That was when the Jews in Baghdad knew there was no future here. And my dad's story, in 1939, my dad was still living in Egypt and he was in Cairo then. He said in, in 1939, he saw Mein Kampf was a bestseller. He said, this is, it's over. It's over for us here. One of my father's uh, cousins stayed in Egypt when the whole family was kicked out in 1956. He didn't want to leave and he wanted to take care of the main synagogue in Cairo and he was beaten to a pulp, dead. We spoke Arabic, we ate the same food, we were Iraqi. We lived in Iraq longer than any American ever lived in the United States. We're from the region. The region got taken over and we became second-class citizens. We no longer have a presence there. You know, there are no more Jews in Iraq. There are still Jews from Iraq, but that generation is dying off. Most of the Jews from Iraq now have grandchildren living in Israel. Most of the Jews from Iraq had nowhere else to go but Israel. We survived by going to Israel. 850,000 Jews had to leave countries all over the Middle East and North Africa. And 650,000 of them, not give or take a few thousand, right? Ended up in Israel, which is why it's so important we have Israel. We have a country. We cannot be just thrown around at the whim of rulers, at the whim of countries, at the whim of whatever. You know, one minute we're this and then we're stateless. One minute we're that and then we're dead. I tell my story because I'm a Jew and I'm an Arab Jew. I tell my story for a personal reason, to honor my family, to honor my ancestors, and I tell another story to help a little bit, a little bit, in perpetuating Jewish survival.